Hi, welcome back to Vlogmas. We are taking a cozy mid-day break on a Sunday late afternoon. The original concept was to have a lot of these cozy breaks together in December, and I just feel like I am like skidding through Vlogmas on two wheels, rounding the corner into Christmas week, and it's mayhem. <laughs> so I've talked to a few of you, and I know that I'm not alone, but man, it has been a wild ride. <laughs> so I'm excited to slow down with you guys. First update, we're back with a homemade advent candle. So I think you can imagine what happened. <laughs> I was burning it the other day. You know, if you're just tuning in, I had this candle that was like printed with all the days of December. And I did a bad thing. I left to answer the door. I was only gone like, I mean, I, I thought it was just like two minutes, but when I came back, Phew, it had burned through the whole month of December. So I kind of think I got a faulty candle this time because I've had them for years and I've just never had so many problems with them like I did this this year. It was really bad. It was not meant to be. So we made another DIY one and it's honestly not the cutest thing. But you know what? It's really a child would say. I'm glad this happened. It's good. Uh, it's a good example of just like Making do, you can make coziness happen no matter what. And even if I don't have my special candle that I waited all year to get and I drove two hours to a little town called Solving to go to their Christmas store to purchase the candle. <laughs> None of that matters. It's gone. We tried and now we're doing it with the DIY candle. So sorry you guys can't really see it because I'm sitting at my desk instead of in the cozy corner. Do you see Cindy there? She's so cute. She's all curled up. But yeah, I want to sit at my desk while there's a little bit of sunlight left today. We're just drinking ice water. It's not like an official cozy drink. I just wanted to sit here and catch up. So, okay, let me show you the progress. I haven't shown you this in a while. So I've been sewing a square every day in December. We are all about recording the passage of time in December <laughs> so that we can savor it and be more present and, um, you know, cherish it. But this is where we're at with our little project here. I've been doing a square every day. So I'm really happy with how it's coming along. I just did this one yesterday. And so today we'll be doing this one. And this is gonna be just a really cute wall hanging to have for my future Christmas decor when this is all done. So I'll be sewing in this little sock stocking while we're chatting today. Um, this was a PDF that I got, so you guys can check that out in the information. They recommended doing it, I mean, it almost doesn't even look like a stocking the way they did it. I don't know if you can see, it's like, <laughs> almost looks like a something else. <laughs> so I'm of course going to do mine pink and red, but I think I'm going to stitch it a little differently than they did. I don't know. We'll just play around with that while we're chatting. I just feel like we have a lot to catch up on because this past week, like I said, was crazy. <sighs> I was at Disney that one day, which was so amazing. Absolutely the loveliest time of year. Well, the happiest time of year at the happiest place on earth. That just, that says it all. So wonderful. And we had a couple more like holiday gatherings. I had a Zoom holiday party with my Milk and Honey girls, which was really fun to see everybody's beautiful faces. Uh, so nice. Um, and yeah, we've got like a couple more social things this coming week and then Christmas itself should be hopefully nice and quiet and cozy. Keyword around here, very cozy. Just probably me and my husband and our doggies. <laughs> I actually just bought all the dogs final Christmas presents right now. So crazy dog mom over here. And I'm done with all my Christmas shopping. I'm done with all of my Christmas crafts. Wow, I can't even believe that I'm saying this. I'm done with everything I needed to make except for this, which we'll be finishing every day until Christmas. And so I feel like, I feel like some of the pressure and the hubbub is off of my shoulders now. I still need to wrap gifts and, you know, finish cleaning before company and like, well, get the groceries and do the food preparations, plan the menus. I guess there's a lot still. It's funny how even when you just have like a quieter, cozier, smaller Christmas, well, at least the way I do it, <laughs> there's still a lot to be done, but I keep reminding myself that's what makes it 
fun and special this time of year is like the hubbub and the chaos. Like if I was just sitting around twiddling my thumbs, because I kind of tell myself that's what I wish I were doing, but if I were just sitting around twiddling my thumbs, I would be like, hmm, it doesn't feel like Christmas, you know? Because this is Christmas. <laughs> the fun chaos at the end. And I'm also telling myself that I can take the week after Christmas. You know there's that perfect week between Christmas and New Year's where it's it feels like outside of time. Like it's like a little bonus week in the year before the year ends and everything. Do you guys feel that way? So I told myself I can take that week to continue celebrating Christmas <laughs> because I was feeling all this pressure on myself like, ah, oh, there's so many more movies I wanted to watch. And like, I just haven't had a day to stay in my pajamas all day or, you know, like things like that. So I'm gonna take some time hopefully after Christmas to do that and even if I don't wind up really doing that much stuff, I just feel like it's helping me mentally to tell myself that I can do that. <laughs> so that's my current thinking. But until then, I'm just excited to do the rest of the Christmas events and also to finish Vlogmas strong because I have so much more I wanna share with you guys, so many more things I want to do with you. And I think we should just go strong until Christmas and do the, do the things, <laughs> do the crazy, hectic, holiday, fun things. So I'm excited for that. But that's why we're squeezing in another cozy um, embroidery vlog before all that goes down. So today is Sunday and Christmas is Saturday. Like what is happening? <laughs> I, that really snuck up on me. I, we have less than a week left. I don't want it to be over. That's why I'm giving myself the extra time in my mind to keep savoring the holiday season. But yesterday I watched um, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. It was hilarious. I never saw that before. I was laughing so hard. Um, very fun night. And I also then stayed up really late and watched Elf, which is always a classic. So I'm like, I really want to watch all the holiday movies this week. I love them all so much. And I don't usually get to choose what's on the TV in my household because <laughs> I just don't care that strongly. And I would usually just put on the Hallmark Channel. So I'm trying to soak up the holiday movies now. But I've had a very productive Sunday. I'm going to continue having a productive Sunday after this. But we are taking our like cozy break, so it's going to recharge me. But this morning I did a bunch of cleaning. This afternoon I did like some home beauty treatments. I touched up my roots. I don't know if the color looks weird sometimes. Right after I do it, it's like, it takes a little while to kind of mellow. But I've been pretty happy with the, the way I've been coloring my hair lately. Like it looks exactly like it did when I was little. So in my head, that's my natural hair color. <laughs> Even though it doesn't grow in that light anymore lightening the roots and then toning it has made it I've been really happy with it and I gave myself a haircut I cut about like four inches off three or four inches um I had to rewatch my vlog from early quarantine when I cut my own hair <laughs> so embarrassing oh my gosh it was really I I think you guys know I really don't like watching my own videos ever and that one was especially embarrassing to rewatch because I was being so dramatic about the haircut. <laughs> but I was like really nervous about messing it up. And I was just, it was just really funny to rewatch it and think, oh girl, you think the hardest thing that's going to happen this year is that you have to cut your own hair? Like, oh no, this is nothing. Here I am like a year later, I dye my own hair, I color my own hair, I cut my own hair, I do all my own nails. like. I bake my own bread from scratch. I feel like such a pioneer woman now. <laughs> Not that they had as much hair and nail um, high maintenance tendencies as I do, but <laughs> I just was, it was just so weird to look back on that video and be like, oh man, we've come a long way. In that video, I was all like so scared to cut my hair and this morning I just like, or this afternoon, I just like grabbed the scissors and I was like, boop. <laughs> But I did use that same technique that I used in that video and it's worked pretty well for me the like three times I've cut my hair since then. And it just felt really good to get like all the dead scraggly ends off. It's just, it's not like a cute haircut, like it's just blunt. But um, when I curl it, I think it'll look cuter. Cause this length curls pretty nicely too. And it just feels like relatively healthy, I hope, I think. So 
I don't know. Just anytime, I feel like anytime you get your hair done, you feel like a new woman. Or I do. Um, even though it was at home, it's not like I went and did a whole fancy spa day or anything. I felt like I just emerged from the bedroom bathroom. I was like, whoosh, I'm a new woman. I got short, healthy feeling ends on my hair. It's a little shiny. <laughs> And I think it really comes down to like just making some time for yourself. I just felt like surprisingly like I really needed that. Like, cause it's just, it has been so busy and all last week, I don't know, my house wasn't like as clean as I like to keep it. And I just really felt off my game, off my routine, just behind on life. <laughs> I've probably been like a bit of a broken record all throughout Vlogmas with that, but that is how I've been feeling. And so I really want to like salvage this week ahead, this final week till Christmas, and really make it less um, hectic and just like, you know, stay on top of things better so that they don't like snowball like they have been doing. So that's why I was really happy that I took today to like do some beauty treatments and get my house in order. And um, I'm going to like finish a bunch of Christmas last minute stuff tonight and yeah so we're gonna be ready for the, the new week the last week till Christmas starting tomorrow I'm just sitting over here taking my sweet time with my sewing and then I realized it is quickly getting dark so maybe I will pause this for now we have just the outline of our little red stocking here <laughs> but I'm gonna fill in I mean I don't know if I'm going overboard with the pink and red no such thing, right? I think I'm gonna add pink to my stocking. But before I lose you, before I lose this light, let's open some advent calendars. Cause again, it's just, it's been too long. So I think I've kind of failed you in that we haven't even opened the Trader Joe's one yet together. Cause I've just been vlogging out and about and whatnot, but it's been fun. I think the most important thing to show you from this is this berry lip mask. I really hope Trader Joe's is going to carry this. Sometimes they'll throw beauty products in here that you can't just buy randomly in the store. And I'm like, you're obviously making berry lip masks, let me buy it. <laughs> but I was so hopeful for this because I really wanted it to be a dupe for the Laneige lip mask that I love because that's berry flavored and there's a version of it that comes in a tube. So like clearly that's what they're going for, right? And it is really, really good. I don't think it's a perfect dupe for that because it has a lot of like slip it makes your lips feel like very slippery, <laughs> which is kind of fun, but um, I don't feel like it stays on as well as like, not, it's not that the other mask is sticky, it's just very thick, so it like really stays on your lips. But anyway, I also don't know if I started this calendar on the right day. So today is the 19th, and I am opening day seven, because I wanted it to end on Christmas Eve, right? So that means <laughs> Monday will be day eight. Friday the 12th. I think I did that right, right? Okay, well anyway, today we're on day seven. And it is a little sugar cookie, not sugar cookie, sugar cube, sugar exfoliator. And it's funny because they had this last year and my anthropology can candle, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. My anthropology calendar had it too. So I'm like rolling in the sugar, in the sugar scrubs. <laughs> All right, this is getting a little jostled, but how far down we are. At least we can see the cute print on the back of this box. And for day 19, ooh, this is the skin brand from Iceland. I don't know if that's how you say it, it has a Y in it. Brightening eye serum. That's fabulous. Cause this is like a good size for an eye serum. That will last a long time. I'm so excited for the skincare in this calendar it is going to save me in the new year I'm so excited and then last but not least we have a Keurig pod to use I might go cook this up right now cinnamon dolce oh so good I think is it possibly true that Starbucks got rid of their cinnamon dolce syrup is anybody in the know on these things um what was it? Because I used to always get their apple cider. It's like a huge part of my, not a huge part, but it's my tradition when we go Christmas light hunting, which we're going to do soon. 
with you. Um, I always get the apple cider from Starbucks and they don't have it this year because they got rid of the syrup that was in it. And I wanna say it was the cinnamon syrup, is that possible? I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of hack because that was like my go-to apple cider of life. Why can't they just use caramel syrup? That would be really good, right? Caramel apple cider is totally a thing. Anyway, I'm sure we'll, that's a problem to solve in another day of Vlogmas. In the meantime, I guess I shouldn't make this this late in the day because the sun is like setting. But I really do want to power through my Sunday night and like get this vlog up and <laughs> finish some of those lingering to-dos that I just keep pushing. Because starting tomorrow, it's a fresh shiny new week. It's Christmas week and I just want to have like a few doable things each day and then dedicate the rest of the time to like enjoying it. So have I said that enough times in Vlogmas? Not sure if you guys know that I'm trying to enjoy and savor the season. Anyway, it's time to blow out our sad little makeshift candle, but this is a symbol of making the best of it no matter what happens. And listen, I just want to tell you guys, I know I'm like holding fire while I say this, but I usually like really pride myself on my candle safety and I don't play with fire. I don't take these things lightly. And I always try to advise you guys to be responsible as well. So I just don't want you to think that I was like trying to burn my house down with the advent candle. I took my eyes off of it and I shouldn't have because those candles that burn in a jar, it's like a, a bit safer to leave it for a moment, but that's just an open flame. So that was bad that I went to get the door, but I wouldn't have thought it would have ended that dramatically that quickly. The whole candle just burned down. So I think the adhesive sticker that they used on it this year or the one that I got was like really flammable for some reason. So anyway, here we are with our homemade safe candle. Perfect amount of time just burned through. Today is the 19th. So we're in the twos now. Terrible twos. <laughs> the wonderful twos. The terrific, lovely, sparkly, romantic, candlelit twos of December. And then we're gonna be into a lot of twos with the year 2022. Like, doesn't that sound kind of like a lucky year to you guys? I don't wanna jinx us. Like, knock on wood, as my mom would say, as she knocked on her cute head. I don't want to jinx us, but I really hope it's going to be a better year for all of us. And in the meantime, I will safely, carefully blow this out. I hope I'm not stressing anybody out with my use of fire, <laughs> pyrotechnics. But thank you for joining for another day of Vlogmas. Oh, I'm so glad that we got another old school cozy break and I hope to whisk you away this week for lots more of December fun. And I'm just so happy that you're here and grateful for you, so grateful for you, and so wishing the best, most sparkly, lovely Christmas holiday season to you no matter what you celebrate. And I think that's it for today. So I will see you tomorrow. Good night.